I'm Haruto Sakuma. I'm 28. My dad ran a company that manufactured small plastic products. My dad was the president, and I was the vice president. But a few days ago, my dad injured his hip and he could no longer work. So he ended up putting me in charge of the new CEO. Sorry about this, Haruto. I know you and Rena are thinking about getting married soon. I hate to put all of this on you at such an important time, but I got no choice. Don't worry, Dad. Just try to get some rest. Thanks. But I don't know if I'm cut out for this. I mean, the CEO? I don't know if I can do this. Don't worry. You got Mr. Janai will help you. He's been managing the factory for years now. Mr. Janai? I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. He doesn't seem very happy about this. Maybe he doesn't approve of me. Mr. Janai was a factory manager. He was 38 years old, but he seemed much younger. He was really good at his job, and my dad depended on him a lot. He was liked by everyone. Everyone always came to him whenever they ran into trouble. He started working here about 12 years ago, so I've known him since I was a kid, but... We didn't really get along, and after I started working here, he wasn't very nice to me. He was nice to everyone else, but to me, he seemed a bit cold. I didn't like him, to be honest. Well, I gotta get to work. Uh, where do I start? Mr. President, we need to send the purchase order to Karis 2 Company by today. You got a handle on that? Oh, we also need to call Magora Company about changing the color of their material. Uh, uh. You want me to do it? Are you sure? Well, your father asked me to support you, so I'll do what I can. I'll send them an email. I'll keep you in the loop. If you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, thank you. Well, gotta go. Ugh, I don't know if I can do this. Mr. Janai helped me through my first day, but I wasn't sure if I could do this on my own. I was getting nervous. Hey, honey. Long day, huh? Here, I made you your favorite. Eat up! Thanks, Rena. This is Rena, my girlfriend. We've been dating ever since high school. We were planning to get married next year. You don't look so well. Are you okay? Well, today was my first day as a CEO, but I didn't know what to do, you know? I couldn't do anything on my own. I thought I was doing okay, but without Dad around, I'm useless. Oh, don't say that. Mr. G9 is gonna help you out too, right? I'm sure you'll be okay. Yeah, he's a lifesaver. Without him, I wouldn't know what to do. Just take your time, dear. There's no need to rush anything. I'm sure you can do this. Thanks. The next day, Mr. Janai did most of the work for me. I didn't feel very useful, to be honest. I tried my best to keep up and make myself useful, but that was easier said than done. Then I had to see this client... He was really arrogant, and I never liked him very much. He was the last person I wanted to see on a day like this, but I had no choice. Sakoma! I am to the new CEO now! Congrats! Uh, thanks. What's with the long face? I came all this way to congratulate you! Smile! Stop looking so pathetic! Well, I guess you can't help what you look like. <laughs> Sorry. That's kind of Susan. He was the CEO of a small startup. He was the same age as me. We've been doing business with his company for a while now, so he was a good client, but as a person, he was a jerk. I hated talking to him. And our other employees felt the same way about him. He was just so rude to everyone. Then, three months went by. Ganesh Hussan came by the office every now and then to look down on me. He said I wasn't fit to be the new CEO. It was really annoying, but he did have a point. I was still struggling with being in charge, and Mr. Janai did most of the work for me. I've been thinking, maybe Mr. Janai should be the CEO, not me. Why do you say that? I'm not fit to be the CEO. My dad might have started the company, but that's it. Mr. Janai is the one holding that place together right now. Things would be just fine if I left the company tomorrow, you know? Haruto, you've been struggling with this for months now. Yeah. You know, you don't have to do everything on your own, you know. I guess. You shouldn't hesitate to ask for help. 
Maybe your dad can give you some advice. And I'm sure Mr. Jinai would be happy to teach you. Focus on what you can improve on in the short term. And take it day by day, you know? She's right. I've been depending on Mr. Jinai way too much. I should ask him to teach me how to do some of his work. I gotta work harder to improve myself. I gotta step it up. Thanks, Rena. You're right. I feel much better now, thanks. Sure thing. You got this, babe. And so I started asking Mr. Jinai to teach me. He was nice to everyone but me, so I've been avoiding him without realizing it, but it was wrong of me to do that. I tried to learn everything I can from him. I had to step up my game. I still had a lot to learn, but I tried my best to do things on my own. So, you okay there? You want me to help? It'll be faster. Don't worry, I still got some time, so uh, if I need help with something, I'll let you know. But uh, I want to try to do this on my own. Well, if you say so, but don't come to me at the last minute, okay? Don't worry, I'll get it done. Alright. Mr. Janai is a really good teacher. I'm starting to get the hang of this. I still got some time until the next meeting starts. Maybe I'll take the train instead of calling a cab. Ah, Mr. Sakuma, you heading out? Yeah, can I help you? Oh, I just came by to check on you. Hey, you wanna go grab a drink with me? We're the same age and we're both CEOs, so I bet we got a lot in common. Ed, sorry, maybe some other time. Why don't you want a drink with me? Do I make you uncomfortable? What? No, I... That's not it at all. Fine then, grab a drink with me. Come on. He wasn't gonna take no for an answer. So I decided to say yes and get it over with. Then a few days later... Hey, I saw you at the cafe the other day. You were with another woman. Is that your girlfriend? She didn't look like much, but I guess she's perfect for you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm saying you two are perfect for each other. <laughs> she's an incredible woman. I've been dating her since high school, and she knows me better than I know myself. I see. Where'd you go to college, by the way? I didn't. I started working here right after high school. Wait, you didn't go to college? I had no idea. I graduated from Penn University, by the way. Penn? You've never heard of Penn University? <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> Why does he have to look down on me like that? He's such a jerk. I wish I could stop doing business with his company altogether, then I wouldn't have to deal with this. But I don't know. This is work, so... Maybe I should just let it go. Ah, Jinai san! Welcome! Huh? Jinai san? Ah, there you are! Can I sit here? Uh, sure. What are you doing here? You told me you were going out with Mr. Kanisu tonight, so thought I'd join you. I'm a regular here, you know. A regular? Yeah, I'm 38 and I'm single. I got nothing else to do on a Friday night, you know. I wish I had a fiancé like you. You've been dating her since high school, right? That's awesome. Uh, thanks. Oh, this? Uh, he's the manager at her company. Wait, so you're the CEO of his company? Oh, I had no idea. You're the CEO? That's impressive. Settle down, girls. <laughs> girls are all over him. Mr. Jinai always talks about you, Mr. President. He speaks very highly of you. What? Well, yeah, at first I was pretty worried. I thought he'd give up and run away, but I guess I was wrong. He's stepping up his game. Pen, huh? Nice. I went to Oxford, by the way. Huh? Uh, what? I guess going to a good school doesn't mean you'll end up a good person in the future. <laughs> Hold on. If you went to Oxford, why are you working at that old factory? That makes no sense. Mr. Kanisu? You always look down on us for being a small company, but what do you really know about our company, hmm? Do you even know what we do? What? Mr. Jinai's company is doing pretty well from what I hear. Their numbers are through the roof. What? But who works at a factory after going to Oxford? Well, compared to my classmates, I'm not doing so well, to be honest. I started a company in England, but I failed miserably. So I came back here and... I was unemployed for quite some time. Then the old CEO, I met him here, and he took me under his wings. 
Anyways, can we stop talking about what college we graduated from? It sounds pathetic, I'm just saying. Shut up, you and I ain't the same! But looking down on others by bragging about what school you went to, it's pathetic! I felt like a real loser when I told you I went to Oxford. Hey, that's enough! Who do you think you're talking to, huh? I'm your client, you better watch your tone! Mr. Sakuma, that reminds me. Yes? I talked to your father about Mr. Kanesu and... Well, we all know that he's been really rude to us, and he says you don't have to keep doing business with him if you don't want to. Oh, really? Well, in that case... Hold on, we need your boss to make our product! You can't just cut us off! But you're just so rude to everyone, and frankly, I don't want to do business with you anymore. I'm sorry! It won't happen again, I swear! Well, fine, I'll give you one last chance, but... If I hear anything from any of my employees about you, we're done. Yes, sir. Man, I had no idea about Mr. Janai's past. Our company made parts that other companies couldn't, so we had a lot of clients overseas. We were a small company, but we were generating a lot of revenue. And Mr. Janai was the one who helped the company expand his business abroad. He was fluent in English, so my dad put him in charge of all operations overseas. He helps my father take his company to a whole different level. Mr. Janai, can I ask you something? Sure. This whole time, I thought you didn't like me. Why would you think that? I don't know, he just seemed really cold towards me. When I was a kid, it felt like you avoided me, and at work, you're really nice to everyone but me. Of course I like you, but I do kind of get nervous around you. Your father changed my life, and I owe everything to him, so I didn't want to be rude to his son, you know? But when you were the VP, you weren't very good at your job, and that was kind of annoying. <laughs> and when you first took over as CEO, I was worried sick about you, but I guess it all worked out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You really stepped up to the challenge. You got this, sir. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Thank you. After that, Mr. Kanesu stopped being a jerk to us, so that was nice. And I was finally starting to get the hang of it. Being a CEO was a lot of work, and I still had a lot to learn, but I think everything's going to be okay. A year later, Mr. Janai gave a speech at my wedding. By that time, he was like a big brother to me. I was an only child, so it was nice having someone like him around. Anyways, it was a rough couple of years, but glad everything worked out. When you're under a lot of pressure like that, sometimes you push yourself too hard. But nobody's perfect. Things like this take time, so just focus on one thing at a time. Like the saying goes, success is built on failure. What do you guys think of today's story? Please let me know in the comment section below. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.